It, it was, uh, of course, an uh, overwhelming uh, moment uh, there to, to be among all these uh, athletes uh, uh, as, uh, and as a fencer who is uh, not used to, to big stadia of uh, 60, 70,000 to, to enter uh, such, a, such a stadium uh, with all the athletes of the world. This was overwhelming. We were really uh, highly motivated, on the one hand high expectations, uh, on, on the other hand uh, extremely focused on the, on the competition. So we were slightly outsiders, I think uh, the experts uh, and also outside they thought we we may win a medal if everything is, uh, is uh, going well. And I was uh, with uh, my, my closest uh, friend and, and, and teammate. You know, we looked into each other's eyes and uh, said, OK, today we're going to make it. Uh, today is, uh, is, uh, is, is our day. want to do uh, your personal best and uh, you, you want to contribute uh, the most you can to the success of, uh, of the team. Uh, this is uh, how, uh, how you approach it and uh, then uh, you're, uh, you're extremely focused and take uh, this uh, step by step. Well, this was uh, the match uh, against uh, one of the strongest Italians uh, called uh, Montano. Uzuma had always problems because he uh, was a left-hander. And uh, there, this was, uh, was very difficult. I always tried to keep him on the move. At this time, uh, we were not used also to train against uh, left-handers. And uh, uh, maybe for myself in particular, because uh, I do not know until today whether I'm a right-hander or a left-hander. I had uh, him as an opponent. Uh, I always uh, regretted uh, this decision at the time, and I would have loved to be a left-hander myself. Here we go, here we go again. Now well, it, it's always very special in a, in a team uh, because uh, there uh, uh, everybody uh, is winning and everybody is uh, losing and this uh, brings uh, uh, you together very closely and it's even more important in a, in a sport like uh, uh, fencing which uh, in, in the origin is an ind individual uh, sport. So I, I always uh, loved uh, the, uh, uh, the, the team uh, competitions. It, it was a final with, uh, with a high tension, and, uh, but uh, with, a, with a good result. The moment uh, when, it, uh, when it happened, I think, uh, was a, a strange one. Uh, on, on the one hand, uh, you know, it's uh, the, the absolute joy. On, on, on the other hand, uh, you, you're so tired uh, that it, it feels a little bit uh, like uh, falling into to a black hole, you know, then all the tension is uh, all of a sudden is, is, is going away in, in, in one moment. And, and, and this tension, you know, you realize this has not been built uh, just before this final or during this final. This is a tension which you have uh, maybe for, for months uh, uh, building up. I think we, we realized uh, uh, only that we won gold when we were at home again.
we, we came home and I, we were coming uh, from, a, from a little town of uh, then uh, 11,000 uh, uh, inhabitants. And when we came home, 30,000 people were waiting for us. At this moment, uh, there then I had to make a speech. Uh, and then I, I told the public, listen, you, you have uh, showed us what it means uh, to be Olympic champion. At, at this moment, we, we, we realized uh, what, what we had done. Until now, you know, when I even tell it, it gives me still goosebumps. This is uh, what makes uh, the, the Olympic Games and the Olympic gold medal uh, so unique.